fellow humans, I regret to announce that we fucked up. Because of our existence, some next level shit has been invented. There's a man going around, he goes by the name Michael Shell, the owner of a company called Spark Plug Entertainment, in which they make the worst animated fucking films ever. I took the time to sit through one of these movies. One of them was called The Car's Life, Sparky's Big Adventure. And it was something else. Not only was it super raunchy looking and the voice acting was terrible, but also kind of disturbing at some points. It's like they didn't know who their audience was. There was the mention of death, there was the crushing of one of the main characters, who, no offense, I know it's a terrible movie and I hate them, but if you're trying to make characters that kids are relate to, you might not want to fucking smash their brains out, bud. Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight on Sparkplug Entertainment and Michael Shell prior to actually going on with the movie we're going to be talking about. The movie we're going to be talking about is called Spider's Web, A Pig's Tale. On with the video. Let's get some stuff out of the way first. I just want you to know that this movie looks like crap. Also, the sound is crap. The animation is crap. That's all you need to know. And now, let's review the story. I don't want to wake up if it means I have to watch this movie. <laughs> Walter, honey, hurry up. We shouldn't be late. <sighs> wake up, Mr. Wigglesworth. Why is his name Wigglesworth? Why is his name Wigglesworth? Why is his name Wigglesworth? Fuck you, Michael Shelp. Thickest webs ever. They look like pipes or telephone wires. My barnyard brethren, let us reflect on our many blessings. I am thankful. For what, Walt? For... for everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Walt! I, too, am thankful for everything in this blessed realm, where each creature has his place, from the noble horse to the small and lowly bug. Hear, hear! What? Let it go, girl! Who's he calling Lola? <clears throat> I give thanks. Oh. I give thanks that all creatures are cherished equally, from the small and agile spiders who keep the world spinning to the big plodding horses who produce nothing but manure. <laughs> oh, Tiffany, that is cold! <laughs> I say, really? A very crude. That we put the what the hell? Above our own peppy struggles. Here, here. Why are things popping up? Nice words, Walt. You act like a bee. I am a bee. No, you're a wasp, like me. I am not a wasp. Wasps are dirty and selfish. Whoa, buddy. The nectar has gone to your head. Why would you want to be a bee anyway? Shoo, shoo. Fuck. Later, pal. Gilbert, why are you hanging out with that hedonist? He just flew over. I did not invite him. Of course not. But be careful. We wouldn't want rumors starting. No, no. This horse is racist and stupid bee jokes happen. Oh, there's nothing wrong with wasps. Oh, really, Tiffany? You'll say anything. Hey, if Gil wants to be a bee, let him be! <laughs> so Walter's mom's pie goes missing, and Walter finds it necessary to lie all the time. He sings a short song explaining what goes on, and it's very unnecessary. Here's what happened. Beneath falling leaves, the pie was vulnerable to pie-loving thieves. From out of the sky, UFOs from outer space flew to see the pie. Pie's an enemy ship. We became distraught. It was not pretty. There was cherry pie go everywhere. How do you know it was a cherry pie? Tiffany the spider tells Walter's mom the truth about the pie. It was actually eaten by Walter, if you couldn't guess, but since Michael Shelp, I mean the horses are racist against spiders, they choose to ignore Tiffany's story and listen to Walter though they have trouble believing his BS story. So after Tiffany is being verbally attacked by horses, Tiffany tries to convince Walter to stop lying, then Walter says something that makes me want to slap him across the face. 
Tiffany, I wish my life were as easy as yours. What? Oh, no, 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 no. The pig did not say Tiffany has an easy life. Anyways, after that, a snake arrives. Yo, cowards, don't even smoke crack. What's up with... A rattlesnake. So, hi, I'm Norman Gerard. Norman Jara? Norman Jawa? No, like seriously, what is your name? You sound like crap, so I can't even understand you. A nice job saving the Earth from UFOs. Yo, Snake, that's not what happened. There were no UFOs. Really? Then why are there so many alien mystery specials on TV, huh, smarty pants? Spiders, they got four eyes, but they just can't see. Ja, whatever, just dosh up. Now, Walt, go tell your mother that you ate the pie. But I... I she gets mad and... Stick with the flying saucer story, Walty. It totally works. Dude, this snake speaks my lingo. Like, even though I hate this movie, I totally just saw myself in there for a second. It does, eh? Walter knocks over his mom's pot and his mom just randomly appears to see it broken. Walter once again makes up a crappy story about how it broke instead of telling the truth and taking blame. I did not! If you didn't break the pot, who did? Who? You mean, what? What? I'm still shaking. Protecting your pot, Mom, almost cost me my life. <gasps> ah! A thick fog rolled in, enveloping the barnyard. Hunting did begin. Emerging alone, a ghostly phantom spirit rose up from his throne. <laughs> Forest looks a monster and you see how my childhood curiosity got the best of me. Spooky, scary skeletons and It's really not Halloween anymore. Freaking everyone arrives to shit on Tiffany. Over. I I believe in ghosts. I see dead chickens. Walter, we'll talk about the pot later. Honestly, I think I need it now. Please tell me you did your homework. Did the dog eat it? <laughs> no, the dog didn't eat my homework. The homework, it ate the dog. Shoo! It did not take long. The homework ate Spot quickly. Now I hate being pong. Scratch the pot. Where's the math? Good enough. Send. Jen. And. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Neumann Gerard the Snake invites Walter to Viperwood to leave the barnyard and make new friends, but he's obviously planning something sinister. I can't go to Viperwood. I've never left the barnyard. So leave. I've got a car. Hey, any of my viewers under the age of 10? Want to come to my house? I got a car. I just lost, like, all my viewers there, didn't I? So Tiffany, Neumann, and Walt prepare to go to Viperwood, and Walter kisses his mom goodbye. This kazoo music. Skipping the scene where Walter and Tiffany save this alien thing because, well, it's pointless and annoying. <sighs> Lucy, thank you so much. Thank goodness Lucy is all right. Gerard, what you did was terrible. You have to treat others with kindness and respect. Yeah. Same. You are absolutely right, Lucy. Mm, let's make nicey. Same. Kids today, they have no manners. I blame video games. Same. One room for one night, please. Cash or credit card? <sighs> We're awfully tired. Perhaps we could settle in the morning? First thing? Well then, Viper card. <laughs> the card's rejected. <laughs> there must be some mistake. So Neumann's credit card doesn't work because he actually has nothing on it. They just end up staying at the home of the alien they saved. Hi. Hi! Thanks again for helping with Lucy. Our pleasure. Um, ma'am, we kind of need a place to stay tonight and... Stay here! Come in! Thank you. That's very kind. You got cable? So the weird alien lady tells him not to turn the TV on, but Neumann is a butt and turns it on anyways. And after watching this bizarre game show for two seconds, the TV goes apeshit. 
This reminds me of Conker's Bad Fur Day. I mean, just look at this. Hey, what's going on? This is the best part. Just turn it off. Ouch. Hey. <gasps> the TV! Huh? Calm down, honey. Gilbert, me. Show your stinger. I cannot see it. What the? We can't leave. Yes, we can. Oh, uh, grab the TV. What? I can fix it. Gerard stealing is wrong. Spoiler, they leave anyways. That snake is bad news. I don't want to end up just another pig killing time until retirement. This may be my one chance. I'm pretty sure Michael Shelp is referring to getting chopped in a slaughterhouse by retirement. Fuck you, Michael Shelp. You're a messed up man. Walter and Neumann get gas. They don't pay for gas, and then they get chased down. By the way, are they driving Sparky from A Car's Life right now? And is this Norbert the gas pump? Is this the Michael Shelf cinematic universe? Does this movie take place 10 years after A Car's Life and Sparky's been drugged up and Norbert had his brain removed? Is any normal human being going to watch both these movies and understand these subtle references? Damn you, Michael Shelf! Holy shit, they just shot a missile at them! What kind of fucked up universe is this? They're trying to kill us! Just because the snake stole some gas, that's not right. Exactly, Tiffany! You don't try to fucking blow a bunch of robbers' brains out for stealing a little bit of gas! So Tiffany scares the police dudes and causes them to jump off and probably get scraped to death by concrete. So they arrive in Viperwood and Neumann's annoying friend comes along and starts hitting on Walt. JK, she's just really freaking annoying. The magic of live theater. So freaking majestic. Send the others home. Walter Pembroke has arrived. Oh, I've looked so forward to meeting with you. <laughs> really? Your resume, very impressive. I need a show stopping act, and you might be it. <laughs> Gee. So. You can hold your breath underwater for 20 minutes? Wow. What's going on? Hit it. Don't fly, but big dudes fly. Michael Shelp has a fetish for having his cartoony characters go through cruel and brutal torture. Fish! Stay away from my friend, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Tiffany. It won't cry. Just went right by. <gasps> that was horrifying. Huh, that's my reaction to the whole movie, Walt. Walt, everything is going so well. Yes, yes. There's a whole world waiting to buy. The pig with charisma. Charisma. Oh, Walt, you really want to be famous. Yes, I do. Oh, fine. Ah, the magic of television. Yeah, so I hope you'd be into having a real boyfriend once I'm cured. Are you insane? You can't cure homosexuality. Yes, you can. Too bad you can't cure, bitch! Viewers don't watch a particular TV show anymore. They just flip through channels until something grabs them. That's why we need explosions! Violent! That's why I made this video. <laughs> <laughs> now Walt is on that awful game show that they were watching earlier. Octopi can change. That's basically all you need to see. Oh, and this guy dies. Good. Walt, my boy, you're going to be a movie star. <gasps> Yay! Ah, uh, the magic of the movies. You say one more rude word to me, and I promise you this, I'll throw you across the room. You idiot! Oh, 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 oh. Movie. Hopefully not a Michael Shelp one. So the director of this action movie only speaks Japanese, but Neumann told Walt just to say yes to everything he says. This scene is actually pretty funny. This is so exciting. Jumbi dekimashita ka? Hi. Ja, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Hi, hi. Jarar, you are so right. All I have to say is hi, and everything is fine. Go. Hi, hi, hi! Hello! What's going on? 
What you say? So Walt is in the hospital, and Neumann Gerard tries to persuade Walt into another scam, but Walt just wants to go home after recovering. You guys finish sightseeing, then we'll all go back to the barnyard. I found a bus schedule. Where and when? Don't you think a scene featuring him finding a bus schedule somewhere would have been more important than, um, I don't know, a scene where a TV has a seizure and starts to break down a house? Walt, the place we are going is very cool. Really? I'm not very cool. Yes, you are. No, he's not. Especially when you wear these. I'm the coolest. Ah. I can't see anything. The price of fashion. So they take Walt to a slaughterhouse where hopefully he will get murdered, but not before this butcher guy flirts with him. Frankly, I could learn a thing or two for this critter. I've heard so much about you. <laughs> Hi. You look very plump. Huh? <laughs> uh, I really can't see with these glasses. So before Walt dies on Michael's shelf fantasy, and by that I mean getting slaughtered and turned to sausage, Tiffany and company save him, and take off the shade so he can actually see what's going on. In a brave sacrifice, well, just watch. Walt's a pig. Pigs become sausages. Not as long as I am around. Oh, I'm not scared of a bee. <laughs> this is for you, Walt. Goodbye, world. Ah! <gasps> I am alive. Walt, stop rapping and start squirming. That wasp sting hurt! My stinger did not fall out! <gasps> I guess that means I am not a bee! Nope, you're a wasp. Oh shit, she's a wasp, I forgot. Damn it! So boring, oh, I learned not to lie stuff out of the way. Tiffany takes over the Paddle Wackier show. I like Paddle Wackier much more since Tiffany started hosting. You biased son of a bitch. And of course Michael Shelp would use Comic Sans. The end. Wait. He animated it too? Why? Special French horn performance. Good job. Well, what do you know, Michael Shelp got his family, including Grace, who voiced Gracie from Sparky's Big Adventure, to design the snakes. I guess Julia knew better this time around. And Michael, it says, uh, in parentheses, laughing. Do you want that? Alright. Wait, he was in the same room as him? What? Where? So close. Yet so far, I will find you, Michael Shelp! And that was Spider's Web of Pig's Tail. Did you guys like that one? Because I didn't. <laughs>